Hello, so this is a uh, video just to try to show a quick way to do uh, an animation with a single picture. So I took um, I took a picture that Kevin provided that had reindeer on a sleigh. Let me open that up. I had to I had to edit it in Photoshop, so I basically screenshotted the the photograph and then. I zoom in on this. So I created this this JPEG right here that had a, basically the same picture that he was drawing in Light of Rama, but it's just a single single photo. So you know whatever tool you have available to draw a picture in, like Microsoft Paint or anything, you know that's what you could use to draw yourself a JPEG. And this is, I believe, nine pixels high by something like 95 wide. Maybe nine three, and so I'm going to try to use that picture in this sequence here. So I created a single model. Doesn't really matter how you lay this out. I've just I just said it was nine strings. I mean, um, yeah, nine strings with thirteen notes per string. So I'd get a little rectangular matrix here. However you arrange your matrix would dictate how it goes out to your hardware, but for the purposes of creating a sequence, it, it's not going to matter because you could always change it later. So I'm going to jump over, say create a new sequence, animation, 50 milliseconds. Right click, add display elements, and add the matrix. So I'm going to take the picture effect. Oh, you can't drop it because the timing is active, so you either got to drop a couple timing marks, put it in there, or you could disable the timing track and drop it down anywhere you wanted. Let me bring, so this is the pictures effect. You've got set for left movement. I'm going to pick that Reindeer Slay JPEG. And now here you see you see a picture of what this uh, what this model would be doing on your on your matrix. So you see you already got got a pretty cool little motion there and you could change the speed. You could speed that up so it goes fast. Slow that down so you can really control the the speed that that thing's going across there. So I think that's a much easier way to to do an animation with a static photo. If you had several photos, you could put them back to back and blink them. Um, I'm not sure if if the uh, let's see. I think you could do some stuff like you could do an offset also. So if I say offset, I should be able to move that picture. Oh, I'm offsetting the next. Let me put that back to zero. Let's see what an offset and Y looks like. If I move it right on off of there. So see, I'll put it down near the bottom. If I go negative, I can move it up. So you can actually move it around. It just shows some of the things you can do with just that single photo. I'm not sure if we've got the transparency working. If we did, you, you should be able to do multiple pictures. Like you could create another another layer below that. And let's just say you were sticking another effect below that. You should see that happening. Now it doesn't look like these black parts are showing through transparency. So that's something you should take a look at. But I'm just trying to show how you could actually layer multiple multiple picture elements on there if you wanted. Anyways, that's, that's what I wanted to show real quick. Thanks.